Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at our LOC LST XXL 2E, and we're continuing to uh, break it down to to get um, get it back on the road here. So, uh, just to recap here, we're looking at the underside of the truck and uh, one of the bulkheads. Uh, is broken here so the bulkheads left and right or right and left hold together um, the differential and also provide a mounting point or mounting points for the suspension arm so uh, we're just going to continue taking this apart um, just one comment about um, the parts breakdown of course you always want to print one of these out or have it handy when you're doing any sort of work on the car um, you know, I've I've just highlighted some of the parts that I want to replace here that 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 uh, are broken, um, but uh, you know this isn't this is a pretty nice diagram, not the best that I've seen. Uh, you know, it it doesn't show exactly where um, parts slot in or fit in, uh, and you know one of the places where I had questions, and I'm I'm probably going to go ahead and post this to the bulletin boards, um, is. The uh, the front of the diff mount. I don't know if you guys can see that here. Let's try to focus in and get some more light there. But there's a notch in there, and I'm pretty sure that the notch is supposed to slide over this this aluminum plate. And it is a fully symmetrical chassis, so the front is uh, is very similar to the back, except for you know the steering linkages and whatnot in the front. Uh, but same thing here, and I, I I'm pretty sure that the slot in that piece of uh, plastic you know, and, and it goes around the front of the differential here too um, is supposed to uh, or the chassis is supposed to slot into that so uh, you know the chassis here is supposed to go into into the the plastic um, piece there uh, right now on both the front and the back it's uh, there's a gap there so um, I'm wondering if you know there was an impact or whatnot on this truck that uh, you know that caused the movement of that plastic piece. Uh, so regardless, we'll, we'll we'll disassemble it, make sure that it's put in properly. Um, so here, you know, we'll, we'll take out these hinge pins and uh, and get this these screws out so that we can replace the bulkhead. Um, you know, not not a huge fan. Of, I need a smaller driver of of the the standard hardware that they put on here. You know, SAE versus metric screws. Uh, just because some of them have these really tiny heads and you know the smaller the hex is the more prone it is to stripping and let me just make sure that I'm getting yeah this is the broken one so I'm not going to disassemble the other side because it's not broken part of me was Wondering if you know I should just get a quick fix here and uh, and epoxy the part or you know super glue using Gorilla Glue or whatnot um, just because um, my local hobby shop doesn't stock the LST two parts so I've got a special order of them. Um, <clears throat> what I'll probably end up doing is is buying a couple more spares and whatnot uh, from our good friends over at Dollar Hobbies. Uh, just wanted to show you guys this piece as well. So this piece um, slots onto the front to, to lock everything together, right? Uh, lock the bulkheads uh, together, keep the suspension hinge pins in and whatnot. Um, however, the, the screws that go into these are, uh, let me grab one over here. These are metric 440. Uh, by five eighth screws, and I, I tried to find these all over at local hardware shops and whatnot, um, but I, I just simply couldn't find 440 size screws with a hex on them. And you can see how how small that hex is, all right? Um, so you know, actually, this is the the driver, and I I forgot the exact size of this. Maybe it was one sixteenth or something like that. Don't quote me on it in terms of the hex head but this is very very small um, and you know pulling some of them out I, I felt like 
they were on the verge of stripping, you know, rounding off. So um, I'd like to replace it with something beefier, um, you know, something with, with a bigger, uh, bigger head on it like this, you know, like if you buy these, um, these, uh, what did I forgot the term that they call it, not the rounded, but the, the cap screws or whatnot versus the, um, flathead screws, right? See how the, the head here is flat. Um, it does give you a bigger hex to put in there. So you know, it gives you more torque to be able to, uh, screw it in and screw it out and, and, um, hopefully have it not strip. Uh, I thought about putting in a cone washer like this. So, you know, just putting a cone washer in there and then I could, I could use a larger, um, I don't know if this one's going to fit, but I could use a larger, um, either round cap or, or, uh, or, or a cap screw or, um, or a round head screw. Uh, so, you know, the cone washer just basically, uh, makes up for that, that, uh, countersunk screw head that the, the flat head has. So I don't know, I'm still debating, uh, you know, maybe I'll upgrade to stainless hardware. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really far, hard to find the screws. I can get them, um, special order. There's a place here in the Bay area called Olander, uh, or not special order. They, they stock these, um, smaller metric and, uh, SAE screws and bolts. Um, so I, I may give them a shot, but I have to, you know, order probably a hundred pieces minimum. So, um, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try and figure out what I'll do. Or maybe I'll just buy a screw set off of dollar hobbies as well. <clears throat> but, um, you know, stay tuned with this. I'm going to continue, uh, you know, breaking down this truck, uh, and, um, we'll, uh, uh, we'll hope you guys stay tuned. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, we really love your feedback and, uh, just let us know if you guys like videos like this. Thanks again.